well, you know, I tell you what. Former senator and congressional candidate Frank Blas Jr. telling KUAM News today he has been approached by fellow Republicans about a possible gubernatorial bid. You know, there are many people that ask me to step up, and I recognize that. And if there is a serious discussion and there's really what wants to do this, then, you know, then I'll have that serious discussion because I'm going to have to make a very serious decision. Blas said the Republican Party of Guam would have to initiate the discussion, but GOP Chairman Jerry Chrysostomo said the party standing by their man, Lieutenant Governor Ray Tenorio. Chrysostomo said Guam law states the only way a party can replace a primary election winning team is if one of the candidates on that team dies, is disqualified, or withdraws. Tenorio has said he has no plans of stepping away from his run for Adeloup. It takes more than just me wanting to run to win. This has got to be for the party, got to be for the people. If the party wants the discussion, we can have the discussion. Uh, but they're the ones that are going to have to initiate it. Now, if they're saying now that Gray's not going to pull out because, you know, and because Gray's not going to pull out, um, you know, then they're going to stick with it. Then that, that's your decision. Blas tells KUAM News talks of him throwing his hat in the gubernatorial race have heated up since Tenorio was charged this week with misdemeanor charges stemming from his gun grab incident. But the story gets juicier. In what some may call a bombshell revelation, Blas said he was approached by GOP leadership a couple of months ago about a possible bid for Adeloup. Yeah, maybe about the first part of August, last part of July. You know, um, there was this whole thing about, you know, uh, Ray's going to get indicted, he's going to get in trouble, we need, we need, you know, a candidate. Are you willing, you know, can you run? And... You know, I was like, look, guys, I mean, this is really late in the game. If, if, you know, you want to put up any kind of a viable, you know, site for it, um, you would need to have a machinery and, you, you know, you're going to have the backing, and the, the, you know, and in this case, the support of the, the party. Blas saying there's a rift in the GOP with some Republicans having serious doubts about Tenorio's ability to bring victory to the Republican Party come November. Do a lot of uh, other Republicans kind of feel the way that, that you do? Yeah, there are. Yes, there is. Okay. And, and I, you know, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a discussion on both sides. You know, uh, and it depends on what the, you know, what you're talking about. Are you talking about, you know, what I, what, you know, a pledge or, or, or are you talking about a gun incident? Blas well, no, said he I'll hasn't considered who his running mate would be, but he reiterated that he's not ruling out any of his options. Long story short, the Democrats may not be the only political party with a gubernatorial writing campaign going on for the general election. But Blas, a lifelong Republican, would prefer to have the support of his party. If Frank Boss was to say he's going to run as a write-in right now, okay, you know, what organization do we have that's up and running that's going to be operational? That's why it's, it, 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 there has, that serious discussion has to be somebody who's got that and is ready to do this. For well, Guam's you know, News I Network, think, uh, Chris Barnett reports. I, again, you know, Mr. Pineda, I'm sure, continues to, to, to recognize